Hey there, Mark Coniglio here to give you an introduction to the new video in PTZ image control actor that's part of Isidora 4. I think this actor is really exciting because not only does it give you control over things like the brightness and the contrast, you know, the image coming from a camera, it also offers the possibility to control where that camera is looking if that camera has that as a thing that it can do. So I want to show you how to use this actor and take advantage of it because I can imagine so many interesting uses both in performance and in possible broadcast applications. Okay, so to get this started, we look over here at the PTZ control that enables that possibility, but they all say NA, which means not applicable. Why? Because we have to start capturing from a camera to, so it can actually see, does it allow that? Does it allow me to pan, tilt, and zoom? So to do that, we're going to go to the live capture settings here, and we're going to choose Insta360 Link. That's a great little camera that allows that possibility of movement uh, using the uh, pan, tilt, and zoom control. And so I want you to, I mean, the second I'm going to hit start live capture, but before I do that, keep your eyes over here in the pan, tilt, and zoom inputs, okay? Because they're going to change. So I'm going to hit start live capture now. And as soon as I do, you see that these numbers appear. That's because it asked the camera, hey, do you know how to pan, tilt, and zoom? It said, yes, I do. And so it gave you that possibility, all right? So there I am in the thumbnail. We can see that it's capturing, so we're ready to begin. So we can, uh, we can close the live capture settings window. And just to make this clear, I'm gonna add a video in Watcher to get the image from the camera and a projector to be able to render that to the stage. And then of course we wanna show the stage so you can see that, and I'm gonna do that. Oops, it's off the screen here a little bit, but we'll put it down here in the corner. All right, so there I am, hi. And now we can actually start playing with these inputs. Let's just click where it says pan and the number here, and I'm gonna drag the mouse up and down. See what happens? I can immediately tell the camera to look left or right, same thing with the tilt, up, down, up, down, and the zoom in, out, right? So I've instantly got control over these, uh, these inputs and I can control where the camera is looking. Pretty easy, right? And then in addition to that, down here, we have the image control section. Now, right now that input is off. That's just to save bandwidth and not use that feature if you don't need it. But if you turn it on, now you'll notice the items below that, some of them appeared, but not all. Why? Because again, it asked the camera, hey, do you know how to do exposure control? It said no, but then, and the same thing for iris, but then it said, do you know how to do brightness and contrast? It, the camera said, yes, I do. And so it gave you those inputs as a possibility. So if I go to the brightness, you can see that I can change it, yeah? So when you connect with the camera, whether it's the PTZ control or all of these image inputs, the ones that appear and don't actually have a number instead of NA, that means that you can control them, all right? So that's really all there is to it. You just like hook it up and start changing values and it will point the camera and change the image, yeah? But just to show you one kind of nifty feature with this, uh, if you're familiar with Isidora's snapshot input, we can use that, or snapshot uh, section, we can use that to actually program some movement in the camera. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pan over here to this light, and I'm gonna tilt up a little bit, pan a little bit more, and then let's really zoom in on it. Yeah, and I'll perfect that just a little bit. Okay, great right in the center, and I hit snapshot. And what that has now done is taking a kind of picture of all the numbers here, all the numbers going to all three of these actors, right? And so let's do another one that's just sort of looking at me, and we'll tilt this a little bit up and pan it there to get me in the center. Great, I hit snapshot again, boom. We have two snapshots now. And then finally, let's pan around all the way, this, here's another light. I'll tilt, whoops, tilt up, tilt a little bit more like this, and then let's zoom in on that too, all right? Great. So there we have three snapshots, and then what happens is when you click the snapshot button, the values that were recorded, it puts them all back in the actor. So watch what happens if I click number one. 
voila, we're looking at that light and then to mark and then to the other light. So click one, click two, click three. Yeah. So this is pretty incredible because you can imagine how you might be able to use this to have a camera program to look in very specific places and trigger it to do so at exactly the moment that you need it. So I think this actor is going to open up a lot of interesting doors. That's the introduction. It's pretty simple to use. So I hope that you'll give it a try, especially if you have a camera that allows you to control this uh, pan, tilt, and zoom. Have a lot of fun. See you soon. Bye-bye.